Aloha, aloha, aloha. Welcome, thank you for coming to my live stream today. My name is Master Paul Fletcher and it is my greatest honor to be with you here today, October 11, 2016. I am a worldwide representative of Dr. and Master Ji Gong Sha. <coughs> Dr. and Master Sha is a world-renowned healer. He is a world-renowned uh, student of the divine. And as a world-renowned healer, he has dedicated his life to serving humanity. I started following Dr. and Master Shah about uh, eight and a half years ago. And when I say follow, I meant I had one eyebrow raised and I was trying to figure out, is this a person that is worthy of paying attention to? Is this a person that can assist my soul journey? Is this a person that can bring healing to me and that can help me to bring healing to others? And the answer to that question is a resounding yes which is why I have dedicated my life to serve humanity because I have found a, a spiritual teacher, a spiritual father who willingly, daily, travels around the world to serve humanity, to bring love, peace, and harmony to the forefront, to, to place very hard teachings on his students like myself so that we humble ourselves, so that we have no ego, so that when we offer healing, we give the credit to the divine. A master like that is a person that I'm more than happy to follow and say that I am a worldwide representative of Dr. and Master Shah. So it is my greatest honor to be with you here today. Today we will be talking about the power and significance of the third eye, how to open it using some of the wisdom teachings from the ancient teachings of the past, <clears throat> and we'll be using some modern techniques in combination with this ancient wisdoms as well. We'll be employing the four power technique and opening up uh, the, the spiritual channels. We're going to talk more about what is the third eye, its relationship to the other energy centers, its relationship to the spiritual channels. We'll be sharing with you how you can, uh, in, in, if your third eye is already uh, popping open a little bit here or there, how to open it more. And then how to discern what does this image mean? Okay, because not always are we able to discern that. So today is going to be very, very powerful. I hope you stay through the entire hour. So we are loading up very fast here. I want to acknowledge, welcome Carol Skuckle, welcome um, Kristen Rojas, welcome Cheryl Healing Ray, welcome Ruchi from India, welcome Kathy and Eleanor. Great to see you here, Eleanor. <coughs> uh, Kristen Strachan has joined us. Welcome Sherry Hartree. Elizabeth Folk has joined us as well. And then Karen Sinclair, good evening. Happy to see you here. Uh, welcome Stephanie. And uh, Patricia has joined us as well. And I'm sure more people are joining and have probably already joined, but I haven't seen your names pop up yet. So I'm very grateful that you're all here. We have a full boat today. I want to start by letting everybody know who this is not for you because all of you already know what I'm about to say. This is for everybody that will watch this at some point uh, after I complete this one hour. Um, I want to let them know that there is a unique way in which you can open your third eye, uh, clear the blockages in your Kundalini, and they're called Divine Services. I'd like you to learn more about them. Go to my, to my website, asoulhealer.com, A-S-O-U-L-H-E-A-L-E-R.com, and go to the section called Healing. I offer an eight-minute video there that explains what is a soul, mind, body, healing, and transmission system. And you'll understand how is it that I've been able to open my third eye? How is it that I can talk to heaven and hear very clear answers? I had none of these skill sets before, but because of the... Uh, not only the wisdom and teachings of Dr. and Master Shah, which you will receive freely today, because of uh, healing transmissions that I honored for, I paid several hundred each for the transmissions to open my third eye, to, to boost power to my Kundalini. Because of those transmissions, things open a lot faster. So I want for those that are new, who have never heard this before, to pay attention to that information, go to the website, learn more. <clears throat> so um, Carol has joined us, Suki has joined us, Joanne Treiber, I'm not sure I've seen your name before. Welcome, Joanne. Johnny has joined us. And um, so let us connect. Today is going to be very powerful. I have a feeling we're going to pop over 50 people live. And so let us place our hands in a soul light, soul service hand position, which is very much like a prayer position, but we drop the right hand just in front of the heart center. So the left hand, excuse me, the left hand in front of the heart center, right hand gently po as pointed up to heaven. Close your eyes. We're going to invite in heaven. 
dear, all layers of the divine, all layers of the Tao, all layers of source, dear creator, dear all beings of light serving the light side including the light side of all planets, stars, galaxies, universes, all masters, ascended masters, lamas, sifus, gurus, and saints, all Buddhas and bodhisattvas, to the soul of all angels, healing angels, archangels, dear the soul of our heavens, teams, guides, angels, and saints. We are deeply, deeply honored, so very honored and grateful for the opportunity to fully receive the blessings that you may be interested in offering us today. We ask you to please come to our energy centers, including our third eye, our Kundalini, and our heart message center. Bless us to open the spiritual channels associated with these centers that we will have the greatest opportunity to hear and see heaven's wisdom, heaven's advice, and heaven's guidance. <clears throat> we sincerely apologize if in this or any lifetime we have misused the blessings of having open spiritual channels, if we have received third eye images and not offered good wisdom or advice to others because we misinterpreted the information incorrectly, we deeply and sincerely apologize. We ask for forgiveness for this in all lifetimes that we might have received wrong information or offered wrong information and harmed others on their physical, emotional, mental or spiritual journeys. We ask you, dear heaven, we ask the source soul song of love, peace and harmony to please forgive us. We ask the source soul song of love, peace and harmony to turn on in our soul. And we ask all souls in all universes to join us to chant love, peace, and harmony. Those who know this one, please chant along. Those who do not, close your eyes, receive the blessings. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, la, li. Lula, lula, li, lula. Lula 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 O I wash in Erling O I tran ran lay Ong Ling Rong Her Musher Shong Song I ping on her shin Song I ping on her I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. One more time. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, la, li. Lula, lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Wo ai wo xin herling. Wo ai trun ran lay, wong li hing rong er mu shi shang, song ai ping an he shi, song ai ping an he shi. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. How, how, how. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Always, this incredible song brings healing, rejuvenation, lightens the load, connects heart to heart, soul to soul. Okay, so <clears throat> the, 
today as I was preparing for this teaching, this wisdom, this blessing, because you will receive blessings to open your third eye today. I, re I read uh, from the book that I'll be reading some, some of this to you as well. And um, I encourage you to go out and get this book. It's called Soul Communication. And this is, pr is truly an amazing book. This was maybe the fourth book that Master Shah uh, authored. And it's extraordinary, the wisdom that is in this book. The, you could go to open your spiritual channels classes with almost any other teacher, and you'd have to go an entire semester to get what is in this book. What I'm doing is I am um, whittling it down to the key points, but there's so much depth of very important information. So I recommend you go out and get this book. You can get it pretty affordably uh, at this point on um, uh, um, Amazon.com because one of the things that Master Shah has done through the course of his existence is he makes um, he makes getting his books very, very affordable. How he does that is people like myself, we want to honor for something like open our third eye, right? So I'll pay a couple hundred dollars to receive a transmission to clear the blockages, get a new third eye, things open is better. You'll have that ability to go to my website, you'll learn how to do it. But back when he was doing it, he would say, okay, instead of spending a couple hundred dollars uh, to give me, go out and buy a couple hundred dollars worth of this book, Soul Communication and then give the books away or make them very, very affordable for people so that they can learn the wisdom too. That's a great master. Don't you just love that? So you should be able to find the books pretty affordably out there. Highly recommend you go get them. The power and significance of the third eye is very relevant. It is one of the four major spiritual channels. So again, for those that are newer, there's the soul communication channel. The four channels, I'm gonna be going into uh, more next week. Um, there's the soul language translation channel, the third eye channel, and there is the uh, direct knowing channel. Now these are channels. These are not energy centers. What's the difference? A channel, for example, for the third eye goes through uh, the heart center, goes through the third eye, and it's also connected to the kundalini. So this is literally a line in which it connects to those centers. That's a channel. It's connected to energy centers, but a channel is different. That's teachings for next week. So an energy center is, for example, the third eye, is the message center, the heart center, which we've been working on the last few days. Yesterday we did the Kundalini. If you missed any of these, go to my Facebook page, scroll beneath the main image, you'll see the word about, scroll down to videos, and then you'll see the past videos. You can also just scroll through my page and you'll see them uh, uh, as far back as they'll go anyway. So, highly recommend. We're literally on a series. Um, this week I will continue with the energy centers. Next week um, we're going to go into the channels themselves and then we're gonna be talking about uh, practices specific to integrate the energy centers and the channels to, uh, to emphasize your ability to connect to heaven. Now, yesterday we put a great deal of emphasis on the uh, kundalini area and the kundalini area for those that did not watch yesterday or need a reminder or first time is an energy center it is a fist sized energy center this energy center um, is located if you put your finger on your belly button draw an invisible line straight back straight back Go back two thirds of the way and drop down approximately two and a half inches. There's a fist size energy center right there. And this is directly related to many aspects of our health and well being. Briefly and shortly, it impacts our immune system, it impacts our stamina and our vitality, it directly impacts our kidney strength, our brain strength, and our third eye's ability not only to open but to sustain the power necessary. When we boost power to the Kundalini area, it's very much like charging up the battery cell that feeds and nourishes the brain, okay? If you think your brain doesn't need food, wrong again. The, the brain needs energy and it needs it from energy centers. So the Kundalini has a direct association to brain and third eye health and well-being. 
there are some that are watching today that have third eye abilities. Maybe they were born with it, maybe it's been actuated through practices. Um, very often, if people already have their third eye open, it means it has been open in previous lifetimes. If you're on the spiritual journey, it's reasonable and possible your third eye and other spiritual channels have been open before. So the question becomes, why are they closed? Why are they inactive at this time? The answer is, we have become thick. Thick with the karmic implications of our choices. We could have maybe not been on a correct spiritual path that gives us the opportunity to open those channels back up. We could have been uh, on a correct one, but we made so many unpleasant choices or served others incorrectly, offering them wrong information regarding their spiritual journey, that our channels have remained closed until we do uh, the associated forgiveness practice, or unless uh, something like Master Shah has done to me, receive divine services to clear the blockages. And so you can have those cleared, you can have literally a new third eye put in, um, and these things make it much more possible to open your spiritual channels. So, when we boost power to the Kundalini, when we open our heart center, in essence what we're doing is we're giving the energy center of the third eye the highest opportunity to not only open, but to sustain that openness. Those, as I was about to say, who have an open third eye, those who have um, uh, the ability to see already, uh, they, they often are felt feel drained afterwards or they have headaches or migraines um, they sometimes don't see pleasant images uh, and they're left often with the discernment of what does this third eye image mean what does this vision I'm seeing mean uh, and they're left with their mind to understand it so I want to read from you now from the soul communication book this is on page 56 uh, because the wisdom, as it's written, is called flowed information. What does that mean? That means the mind didn't write it. But Master Shah uh, flowed these books. Excuse me. He just said, okay, dear, dear uh, Master Sentia, please, please come over here. Get ready to write. Dear Heaven, I'm ready. Please give me the information. And he just receives the information, and it's typed out. The average book takes him one week to write, four books a year. You talk to any uh, book company, and they, they just roll their eyes, and they say this is almost an impossibility to do that. Uh, it's flowed information. And so it carries with it heaven's wisdom, which is why I want to read it, so you grasp uh, the depth of the wisdom as it's coming through. I do want to ask everybody one favor. Can you please hit the share button so that other people can come and join us? Even though they might only get half this wisdom, they'll go back and watch this later and hopefully share it with other people. Because the more people open their spiritual channels, why are we doing this? So we can be better servants. So that if conditions occur in life where we need to connect with heaven about what's going on, how, do we, uh, how can we help this person? Um, if there's a shortage of food, Dear Heaven, I need to be able to feed my family. Can you please give me guidance as to where to go? You might receive a spiritual image to where there is food. Um, this is why we need to open our spiritual channels so we can be better servants. That's the purpose of all of the spiritual growth. Okay? So let me read this to you. <clears throat> Using the third eye is a form of soul communication. When you use your third eye, images from the soul world are visible. These are images that can give you helpful information for your soul journey and for daily life. Sometimes they come slowly and are recognizable. Sometimes they come rapidly and look like a blur. This is important, guys. We don't see movies when you have third eye. To be able to just see a movie very clear like you are watching television, that's a very advanced third eye. So most of us, we see blurry images to start with. We might see just one image. We might see um, colors. We don't say, oh, all I saw was this. We show gratitude. If this happens, simply ask the soul world. So if you see a blur, you see something unclear, simply ask the soul world to select one or two images that would be most useful to you to use your third eye for soul communication uh, that you need to see clearly. Then you can see images, uh, for example, of a Buddha. You could see images of Jesus or Mary. 
you could see uh, it's very important to realize and remember that you are receiving images. When you realize that you are receiving images, you will understand that you need to interpret them. What you, uh, you need to ask the soul world what the soul of the image and the message with that image is telling you. Clearly important, guys. You get your brain involved, big mistakes. To illustrate the pitfall of not interpreting an image, let me give you an example. One of my students once received an image that seemed to carry a, seemed to carry a clear message. She forgot that this was simply an image, and she accepted the message literally. She used the information to make a life choice. This was a huge mistake. She, uh, she did not check whether her interpretation of the image was correct. The message told her how important, the message told her that she interpreted how important that she was and how gifted she was and that she was meant to do great and wonderful things. So this is her mind interpretation. All of these messages are a form of disguise for ego when they come across in this manner. And this has already been cautioned to you. When you receive these kinds of messages and they are also accompanied by an image, it is all too easy to be literal. And um, this is one reason why you must always remind yourself that this is an image. It is not a message unless you ask for the message. Um, and that you must ask the soul of the message what is your teaching. When you receive the image, ask these questions. How does this image offer service? Does it promote love and peace and harmony? Does it help advance one's soul journey? Is the response coming from total love and compassion and offer service? And you know this is an accurate message from the soul world if it is. If the message you receive does not offer service, then it is what's called a false message. Um, use these questions to guide you in understanding spiritual readings. Using the third eye, they are greatly, it will greatly improve your accuracy and develop your abilities further. So in the above example, if the student had asked the question that she had heard, is this testing? Um, then this is to find out how carefully teachings of the third eye are. So unfortunately, she did not ask the question. She had a great deal of suffering because her ego was involved. <clears throat> when you receive an image, sit and meditate with it. Ask the message for the teachings. You could very possibly receive profound information. So uh, I can hear the question right now from some of you. Well, what if I don't trust what I'm hearing? What if I hear something that I'm not sure if it's my mind or if it's the soul world talking to me? The answer is, this is why we open the spiritual channels in a specific order. This is the order I will be sharing with you over the course of the next week or so, which is why you need to continue to return. Because we open the spiritual channels, first of all, we boost the energy centers, lower Dantian, message center, Kundalini, and then we start boosting the, the uh, uh, third eye. Why would we do the third eye first? You have to do things in an order so that they are not negatively impacting each other. Same thing with opening your spiritual channels. The first is opening your soul language. This is your soul speaking soul language. Why is that relevant? Because the soul world is communicating with us in soul language. <clears throat> the second is <clears throat> translating the soul language. Therefore, that is the next teaching. How to translate soul language. How to hear heaven talking to you. The next one is the third eye channel, how to receive the message. But because we took the time to open the soul language, because we took the time to translate the soul language, we can ask what does this message mean when we see it, and we can hear much more clearly the answers. So therefore, we don't have to worry about it being a false message. And one way to discern a false message is if it is a message that is ego-based, is pumping you up, if it's a message that is not serving, that brings fear, doubt, mistrust, any kind of something that is not in alignment with love is very often a false message. Okay? 
Uh, it could be mind-based. It could be some, some sort of um, darkness karma that, that comes about to test us. So uh, welcome, Monica. Welcome, Brandy. Welcome, Chelsea. Welcome, Shanice. Welcome, Crystal. Welcome, Don Dees. Welcome, Sam James. Welcome, Anise. Uh, welcome, Judy. Welcome, Felix and Carol. Brandy and uh, Walkure. Judy Ung and Jean Woods. Sarah Penton has joined us. Love you, love you, love you all. Thank you all for joining. Aloha, Mary Ann Thornton and Michelle. Great to see you. Um, you missed some good stuff. Make sure you go back and watch the first half. So let me fast forward a little bit here. Okay, that's enough information for now. Let's work on some practices, okay? So, <clears throat> before we do a direct third eye practice, always, 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 how often, when? Always do Kundalini practice. Why? Because you want to boost the energy cell of your body that feeds and nourishes your third eye. Got it? Okay. Let's do the same practice we did yesterday. Where is the lower the uh, uh, Kundalini located for everybody that just came in in the last 10 minutes? Draw an invisible line from your belly button straight back. Go back two thirds of the way towards the back. Drop down about two and a half inches. That's where you're going to put your imagination. That's where you're going to put your visualization. There is a fist sized energy center there. And that is your Kundalini area. It's also referred to as a snow mountain area and the golden herb uh, urn in various teachings. <clears throat> so place your mind there. Body power. Put one hand on your lower abdomen, <clears throat> place the other hand. Uh, over that dip in your lower back, if you drew a straight line back from your belly button, that's where your hand would go. If it's uncomfortable, place both hands over your lower abdomen in a relaxed posture, never pushing uh, and not, you want to leave a little gap there, just relaxed, okay? Relax your shoulders. Um, so that's your body power. You can, and it's a good idea occasionally, to switch your hands if the one behind your back is a little sore. That's perfectly okay, all right? Now also, ideally you want your back away from the back of the chair. The straighter the back, the higher the propensity of the energy and frequencies coming in to create the benefits that you desire. We're going to gather heaven's light into our kundalini. <clears throat> We're going to ask, and I'll send you some, some treasures to accomplish this, we're going to ask heaven to assist us through the soul power. The sound power, you will follow me. I will lead you in chanting, for example, the, the sound power Jo, 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 which is a vibrational frequency that boosts the lower area of the body. I might say light or divine light, but just follow me with the sound power, okay? <clears throat> soul power. Close your eyes, repeat after me. Dear the soul of my Kundalini, snow mountain area i love you honor you truly appreciate you you have the power to boost your energy stamina vitality and immunity you have the power to feed and nourish my third eye to boost power to my kidneys and my brain you have the power to gather the light and the frequencies and energize yourself. Do a good job. If it's a soul inside your body, like your Kundalini, you, you give it basically an order. You say, do a good job. If it's a soul outside of you, heaven, Tao, Source, Jesus, Buddha, any soul outside of you, always, always, always respect. Repeat after me. Dear God, all layers of all beings of light, to the soul of all stars, planets, galaxies, and universes. I love you, honor you, deeply appreciate you. Can you please shower your light and your love onto my Kundalini area so that I can boost its power, that I can be a better servant, that I can open my spiritual channels. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <coughs> Okay, so that's your soul power. Keep your eyes closed. Your visualization will always remain in your kundalini area. I might give you examples to say watch something rising up your spine, but keep your focus in your kundalini area. Okay? 
So with your eyes closed, visualizing golden light coming in from 365 degrees, boosting power, let us begin. Repeat with me or after me. Jo, 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 Jo. See the light coming in. Jo, 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 Jo. Jo, 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 Light, 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 light. Jo, 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 Jo. Light, 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 light. Continue to chant light, 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 light. See the light coming in from 360 degrees, going through every pore in your skin, radiating into the golden light ball in your Kundalini area. The light ball is gathering the light. Continue to chant light, 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 light. See the golden light ball gathering the light, getting more solid, more bright. It's gathering the light. Light, 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 light. Golden light, golden light, golden light, golden light, golden light, golden light, golden light. Brighter, 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 brighter. Golden light, golden light. See the golden light ball getting more solid, brighter, brighter, and brighter. Gather the light into this area. Jo 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 light 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 jo 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 light 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 jo 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 light 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 jo 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 light 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 jo 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 and as the bright light gets stronger and brighter, hotter and brighter and stronger and brighter and hotter, repeat after me, dear the soul of the sun, Mother Earth's sun, please come to sit in my kundalini area. And the soul of our sun now comes to sit in your kundalini area. It's very bright. It's putting out this radiant heat and it's starting to heat up all of the water in your water body of you. It's a lake body right underneath the Kundalini point. And the bright sun is creating steam, creating steam that is roiling up, roiling up your spine, roiling up. All the steam is created as the bright sunlight is heating up. Sunlight, 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 sunlight. See the steam. Sunlight, 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 sunlight. It's so bright in your Kundalini area, you can hardly see it. Sunlight, 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 sunlight. The steam is rising up your spine, going right through your kidneys, feeding and nourishing the kidneys, rising up the spine. Sunlight, 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 divine light, divine light, divine light, divine light, sunlight, 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 sunlight. It's getting so warm. All the steam is going up your spine. Now it's going into your brain, into your third eye. Sunlight, 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 sunlight. See the bright light shining on that lake of water, creating this incredible steam all the way up your spine. Your brain, your third eye are getting so nourished right now. Sunlight, 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 sunlight. The golden orb is so bright, continuing to spin. The spinning is creating even more steam. Sunlight, 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 sunlight. Divine Kundalini, divine Kundalini. Continue to chant divine Kundalini, divine Kundalini. Dear all my treasures for my Kundalini, I love you and I appreciate you. Please turn on, please subdivide, go to everybody on the line, everybody watching this video in the future. Bless their Kundalini the entire time they watch this video. When they are done, please return. So additional blessings have come to you during this video. 
divine light 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 sunlight 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 divine light divine light divine light divine light sunlight 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 divine light divine light divine light divine light Continue to chant silently. Place your hands one over the other on your lower abdomen. Continue to see the golden light ball and the sunshine in your lower abdomen. Follow, uh, repeat after me. Dear the soul of the sunlight in my kundalini, the soul of the treasures in my kundalini, that are helping to build and boost my kundalini. I love you. Could you please continue to send power to my kundalini to open and awaken my third eye as I do a separate third eye practice with Master Paul? Thank you. So now it will continue to serve you as we do an additional practice to open your third eye. So everybody open your eyes. I want you to place your hands like this. Touch your fingers together like this. I want you to roll it, touch your thumbs together like this. Imagine you had a lotus flower inside your hands. Drop your shoulders completely relaxed and then bring your hands close to your chest. Do not push up against your chest just in a relaxed posture where your palms are pointed towards heaven and you can drop a beautiful lotus flower in between your hands. This is a very special hand position for assisting you to open your third eye. Kristen Rojas, could you please type in Wong Mani Ba Ma Hong in the uh, words so that people know the words. We're going to chant a mantra called Wong Ma Ni Ba Ma Hong. Repeat. Wang Ma Ni Ba Ma Hong. Wang Ma Ni Ba Ma Hong. Wang Ma Ni Ba Ma Hong. Again. Wang Ma Ni Ba Ma Hong. Wang Ma Ni Ba Ma Hong. This is a sacred mantra associated with beloved Kuan Yin, Buddha of Compassion. We're going to ask her to assist us with this third eye practice. So repeat after me. Dear the soul of this third eye practice, the soul of this hand mudra for opening my third eye, I love you, honor you, and appreciate you. Could you please bless me as appropriate to boost power to open my third eye when it is the highest and best time to do so. I am very grateful. Dear the soul of the mantra Wong Ma Ni Ba Ma Hong, I love you. You are a wonderful mantra that has a history of bringing healing to people, of helping to open people's third eye. Can you please bless me as appropriate? Thank you. One more time, repeat after me. Dear beloved Kuan Yin, sacred Buddha of compassion, I love you. Can you please come to sit with me? Help me to open my third eye as appropriate. I am so grateful. Thank you. And for those that need to see words, Kristen has just uh, put the words Wong Ma Ni Ba Ma Hong into the uh, scroll of the feed. You can see it there. Now close your eyes. <clears throat> here's the, here's the, the, the trick with this. Your eyes are 90% closed. The 10% that's barely open are very uh, gently, almost not really, but very gently looking at your hands very very barely looking at your hands okay your mind in general is still in your lower abdomen your your eyes are looking gently at your hands your mind is in your kundalini point okay for the sound power wong mani ba ma hong 
I've given you what you're looking at. I've given you the creative visualization. Let us do this now. Close your eyes 90%. Look at your hands very gently. 90%, 10% looks at your hands. Your mind is in your Kundalini point. Let us begin. Wong ma ni ba ma hung. Wong ma, relax your shoulders. Relax your hands. Wong ma ni ba ma hung. 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 Their eyes are almost completely closed. They're barely open, barely able to see your fingertips. Barely, barely, I mean truly, just barely open. Wong ma ni ba ma hong, 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 wong ma ni ba ma hong. Wong ma ni ba ma hong, 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 wong ma ni ba ma hong. Wong ma ni ba ma hong, 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 wong ma ni ba ma hong. Slowly. Eyes barely, barely, barely open. Wong ma ni ba ma hong. 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 Repeat after me. Dear Divine, dear all souls, if I have ever made a mistake, and misinterpreted third eye images brought harm to any soul by telling them wrong information. I deeply apologize. I truly do not wish to take people off their soul journey or cause them suffering because of wrong interpretation of third eye images. I ask for your unconditional forgiveness and 
I offer my unconditional forgiveness to any souls that have told me wrong information because they did not interpret third eye images correctly. I promise divine that if I am blessed to open my third eye or open it more, that I will use this heaven ability to be a better servant. To be a better servant means to make others happier and healthier. Let us continue. Wong mani va mahong, wong mani va mahong, wong mani va mahong, wong mani va mahong, wong mani va mahong. Keep your eyes barely open. You barely see the silhouette of your hands. Wong mani va mahong, wong mani va mahong, wong mani va mahong, wong mani va mahong. Wang mani ba ma hong, 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 wang mani ba ma hong. Wang mani ba ma hong, wang mani ba ma hong, wang mani ba ma hong, wang mani ba ma hong. Silently chant, feeling the movement in your body. Wang mani ba ma hong, wang mani ba ma hong. See heaven, Quan Yin, blessing your third eye, boosting power to your Kundalini. Wong Mani Ma Ma Hong, Wong Mani Ma Ma Hong, Wong Mani Ma Ma Hong, Wong Mani Ma Ma Hong. Last minute, Wong Mani Ba Ma Hong, 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 Wong Mani Ba Ma Hong. How, how, how? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Eyes closed. Feel your body. Feel what's happening. Where is the energy moving? Did you feel your third eye blinking? Did you feel the space between your eyebrows pulsing? Did you feel heat running up your spine with the Kundalini? Practice. Did you see third eye images or flashes? What was your experience? Please share. So there's some additional wisdom that once you've done these practices, you should be aware of. I'm going to read these to you again. Just deciding what to read. So you can use third eye abilities for many things. For example, things that are lost, okay? You can ask the soul world, can you please show me where these things are at? Uh, one of the students that I work with on a weekly basis could not find her galaxy note. And um, she needed it to accomplish some homework or something. And so I asked Kevin, can you show me where it's at? And I saw it sitting underneath some, some papers in a, a cardboard box. And so I told her that. I had no idea if it was accurate. This is just what I was shown. And so um, uh, about a day or two later, she said, you know, I don't have any cardboard boxes, but I sat down on my chair and there's a cardboard box right next to the chair, the only one in the house. And underneath some newspapers was my Galaxy Note. And so this is an example of how heaven can show 
uh, third eye images to assist us. Another way is if we want to use it to assist others, that's okay if it's under the right conditions. But remember, we always ask for what is the message. Uh, we ask the soul of the image, what is the message that comes with this? You can use it uh, if you have questions about your job. Uh, you might be trying to decide on schools, for example. You know, maybe you're thinking of a couple different schools. Which one is the best for my daughter? Heaven, could you please show me the best school? And it might show you an image of the best school. This is an example of how you can get discernment. Uh, and it's easy, actually, if you have that possibility. Now, for some people with these practices, your third eye could open in just a few days. That's more on the rare side. That would happen if it had been open before in this life and or if it has been open before in previous lifetimes and you have good karma. Uh, it could take longer. It could take several weeks to several months, which is more along the norm. How often do you have to practice? How much do you have to practice to get that uh, experience? Typically, two hours a day. Okay, you want to open your third eye, boost the Kundalini area at least a half hour. Boost the lower Dantian at least a half hour. Boost the message center, heart center at least a half hour. Then in the last half hour, you do the third eye practice. If you did that two hours a day, the chances of you opening your third eye are relatively strong. Okay, and then Remember, the purpose of any of the spiritual channels, the purpose of any of them opening is so that we can be better servants. It's so that we can help those that are in need. It's so that we can help ourselves and our loved ones. The purpose of life is to serve. The purpose of serving is to help others be happier and healthier. This increases our soul standing. It helps clear karma on our path and it helps us to find our way back to the divine a whole lot faster. So the third eye is very, very important uh, as one of the major spiritual channels. Now we could, we could open our third eye, um, but the images may be blurry, they may be unclear, they may be black and white, they may be uh, spotty, we only get a little bit and we are unable to discern it. This kind of blockage, especially if you continue to do the practice and it doesn't get better, is specific to the third eye channel. So when the third eye channel is blocked, which has an association to the third eye energy center, the message center and the Kundalini center is a channel that runs between them. When the third eye channel is blocked, then we're unable to get clear images. We're unable to get more than one image. We're unable to get um, clarity of message. So this is why we look at the channels differently and we look at the energy centers differently. And that's why they're present. Uh, so we'll be talking more about the channels going into next week. So if you would like to uh, assist yourself to clear blockages in the heart center, in the Kundalini point, in the third eye, then I suggest you take a look at some of the divine services. The Soul Mind Body Healing and Transmission System uh, literally clears all the darkness and blockages that are in the area according to what divine wants to offer new energy and matter comes in that's karma free light wall protection surrounds the area and uh, uh and then it's turned on 24 7 so it can serve you i'll give you an example uh, not related to the third eye uh, directly but this is just like last week there was a gentleman that i was working with first time i met him severe um loathing i guess is a good word to put it didn't want to be around anybody didn't want to be in the world I uh, said if I could take my life and it was it was easy and painless I probably would have done it a long time ago or probably would do it he says I'm here really mostly because my mom doesn't want to lose me she's already lost my other brother and sister and really I don't have any other reason to be here so this person was relatively negative uh, didn't want to be in life uh, I asked Kevin what does he need message blockage center right Me uh, blockages message center offered the healing and transmission system uh, he was very happy afterwards and I heard from him about three or four days later he's like I feel like I've taken Prozac he said I I have not felt this good for 15 years I, I am beyond myself to understand this but I am in a state of gratitude to heaven divine to my mother to to my to my lover to everybody that has supported me through these very dark times this is I just I can't there's no darkness around me I don't know what else to tell you 
He had no idea what I did, how this stuff worked. He was only there because his mom paid for him to be there. And yet that was his experience from a healing and transmission system. So there are no promises. Doesn't mean that when you receive this, your third eye instantly pops open. But to receive it for your Kundalini and your third eye is highly recommended. The honor fee to, to clear the blockages for both, to give you brand new energy and matter for both, and give you a light wall protection, collectively is 300 for both. And you can do it through my website. You can contact me directly. When I honored for them, I paid 300 each. Um, so it's actually been reduced since the past. They have the same thing for the heart center, the lower Don Tian and the Zhu Chao. That's three separate energy centers. Those are a package of the same honor fee that I just mentioned. So those two packages separately would be all five energy centers. All of them uh, have tremendous, trem when you clear the five energy centers, you want to talk about having some powerful spiritual channels, moving away from depression and anxiety, positioning yourself to truly hear heaven clearly, having quite a bit more energy, stamina, vitality, and immunity. Um, that's how you accomplish it. You just get all five of the energy centers cleared. So uh, to repeat, so, so you're clear, third eye and kundalini, that's one honor fee if you choose to do it of 300. The heart center, the lower Don Tian, and the Zhu Chao, which we'll be going over tomorrow, uh, is another package of 300. Optional, no one's asked to do it. It's not a sales pitch. It's just an opportunity to clear your blockages faster if that's what you'd like to do. That's how I did it. I was very happy that I had the financial abundance to do it uh, because without it, I wouldn't be able to teach you in this way. I wouldn't be able to do the things that I'm doing. It'd be much, much harder. Let me put it that way. So divine services are truly a blessing. Um, so they're available if you're interested. You just go to my website, asohealer.com and or, or Facebook message me. Um, there's lots of ways I can share with you about it. So please share. I want to see some of you guys' comments. I haven't seen uh, very many comments pop up. I guess you're still listening to what I'm saying. Um, welcome, Melissa. Welcome, Patricia Costco. Welcome, Brandy. You're very welcome for the live broadcast. Happy to serve. Welcome, Joanne uh, and Seema. And Liz has joined us. Monica said, wow, Master Paul, dog on in. When you guided us to close 90% uh, of the eyes, I could see the golden dimension. And after a Buddha face came to you, wonderful. Love you, love you, love you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We always give gratitude to heaven. We give gratitude to my spiritual teacher and father, Master Shah. We're just, uh, just a conduit. Brandy says she saw a glowing eagle flying. How cool is that? You know, you could be very surprised. I, I felt my third eye flickering, dunk, 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 and I felt uh, a space in between my eyebrows. As it was literally fluttering, dunk, 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 dunk. Um, but I wasn't focusing on seeing anything. I was just focusing on serving you guys. So I didn't see anything in this example. Welcome, uh, uh, Cl Johnson Clare from Salt Lake City. <clears throat> and so uh, tomorrow I'm going to be focusing on the Zhu Chao and all five energy centers. We're going to do a wrap on all the five energy centers tomorrow. We're going to do one more practice together. And then I'm going to move into the spiritual channels themselves. And um, we're going to, I, I will probably work with each of the channels. Well, I definitely will work with each of them on a separate day. And I might work on one channel for two days because they really need to be, um, it, it takes a little, a little bit of time to work with each channel to fully uh, bless them and, and assist them in as much as possible in clearing the blockages. Okay, so uh, again, if anybody's interested, yeah, I see a Facebook message has come up for me. I'll, I'll connect with you in a little while. Uh, a s o u l h e a l e r a soul healer dot com, uh, and you can message me on Facebook or my my web my um, email is a soul healer at yahoo dot com. It's been my greatest honor and greatest pleasure to share with you. I ask that you please hit the share button, let other people know about this. And that um, if you're new to this and you would like to know when I come live every time, just hit the follow button in the upper right corner of your screen there near the video. At least that's what I'm told, that's where it's at. And uh, you should be able to know when I go live. So I love you, love you, love you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, bye-bye everybody.